did have some melting. It's empty. It's empty. It's actually going to fill. Last week, and the week before that, and the week before that, and probably several weeks before that, we got all of our drywall hung. But last week, we hung the last piece, which means tomorrow, our friend Clay is coming to do all of the tape and the mud and the texture, and we can officially move on to things that are much more fun. And I think the only people that are more excited about that than Jeremy and I is probably you guys. So we really appreciate you for hanging in there on the drywall project. It was a long journey. But before Clay arrives, we have a massive mess that we need to get taken care of because he's gonna need room to work. Hey guys, all right, here's the room. Here's the deal. Everything that is a return is gonna go in the front of the trailer. Everything that is throwaway is gonna go in the truck. Once the truck is filled, we will fill the front of the trailer. Gotcha. Push. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go, just like that. Thanks to uh, the help of Melissa and the kiddos, we got this entire garage space cleaned out. Everything upstairs has been cleaned out, swept out. By far the cleanest that this place has been since we started work on it and the most complete and finished that it's been while also being cleaned up simultaneously. So I love the way that it looks. This is gonna be such a convenient space for us. I'm tired of walking through mud and chunky rocks to get all of our groceries in the house. Yeah. So it'll be really, really nice. But before we get to work with getting all of our tape, mudding, texturing, all that completed on the walls this week, listen, I need to go back upstairs because as many of you have pointed out, our ceiling insulation sags down quite a bit on the bottom end and that might get in the way of the guys who are doing all of that mud taping and texturing. So we have some wire stays that we're gonna get plugged into place. Hopefully that keeps the insulation out of the way and they won't have any issues with getting all their work done. Oh, oh are you okay? Oh, I got you in the oh, face? It hit me in the face. So close to your eye. Are you okay? Yeah, Holy it crap. smacked me really hard. <laughs> it did leave a big mark. So I was attempting to put my first stay in, and then I tried to push the arc, and then it flung back at me like a big rubber band. I'm lucky it didn't get my eye. That's all I have to say. I'm a walking miracle, Jeremy. <laughs> Seriously. Really I don't think not. it was that serious. <laughs> Walking miracle, your wife is. Efficient? I think we're good to go, Mom. I think we're ready. Yes, let's what? wrap this up. I love how it looks in here with everything cleaned up. That looks so good. Approval. They said I did an excellent job. They've never been more impressed, and uh, any imperfections are going to take care of for me. You're adding to You're that. Hired. You're 
I'm hired. 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 Hear that? Hired. Stamp of approval. You love drywall. <laughs> Oh, you got a mud look at that. Already looks better. Holy cow. We're pre filling it. Yeah. Pack it with hot mud and then string some. Is that what all this is? Hot mud? Yeah, this yeah. is hot mud. Cool. So this stage is called pre filling. Yeah. So the guy's been working out here for a bit, and you might have heard me asking them. They're V notching some of these seams and they're stuffing it with some hot mud, which sets up really quickly just to help flatten things off. and. Really happy with uh, just what little progress has been made thus far. I see some of these seams starting to disappear and it's really cool. So we're gonna check back here in a bit once they start mudding and taping. They're using a uh, bazooka tool which actually squirts the mud into these seams and rolls the tape over it simultaneously. It's a really cool tool that I've been interested in. We considered buying one a long time ago but since it is so pricey we, uh, we forgoed that purchase. Um, he's gonna show me how that works just because I'm curious for myself but happy with the progress that's being made. Can't wait to see how far they make it throughout the day. The guys are in the addition build doing the drywall. We get to actually do a few little projects around here that we've just been waiting to do and didn't have the time to. So it's spring, which means we need to knock the winter dust off of these horses and start doing a lot more groundwork with them. So we're moving our round pen down a little bit because right now it's just kind of a crumpled mess up here. We never actually got it moved once the snow and the ice came. So it's muddy season. It's time to move the round pen. All right, we have it put together. We are officially ready to rock and roll. This is the best that it's looked. And we left space for the gate because you guys may remember that last summer, Debbie decided to kill our gate. She destroyed it. She decided to just kick the living snot out of it for no reason at all. So we haven't had a gate. So we're gonna go pick one up because I heard from a little birdie that they're back in stock finally after months. I'm the little birdie. It was Jeremy. Jeremy told me that the gates are back in stock. So we're gonna go pick one up this week. We're good to go. The guys have gone home for the evening and we came up here to investigate, <laughs> but everything looks great. The tape is all on, the corners are done. So I think tomorrow they will probably start mudding and hitting all the screws. Yeah, pretty amazing. I'm really impressed with their work so far and it's going so much faster than had the two of us try to tackle this by ourselves. And it's really looking awesome. I can't wait for them to start flattening off these seams, plugging in all of our screw holes. It's looking great. It's coming along really, really quickly. It is dinner time around here, which means it's also dinner time for Kenji. Now, when Kenji was five years old, we discovered that that burnt up kibble from the store was making him really sick, so I started making his food. Next week, Kenji is turning 14 years old, and I completely credit his longevity to his healthy diet, but unfortunately, about four months ago, he wasn't able to digest the food that I was cooking for him anymore, so in an attempt to find a solution for him, I remember that we once ordered the farmer's dog when we went out of town, and he absolutely loved it, so I ordered it again to see if it would help him out. Ordering from the farmer's dog was super simple. I just filled out a short questionnaire on Kenji's breed, age, weight, and dietary goals, and they designed a dietary plan just for Kenji. See? For Kenji. It arrived right to my door in these pre-portioned packages, so it takes all the guesswork out of knowing how much to feed him. This package represents one day of food for Kenji, so I just give him half in the morning and half for dinner. I love that I can actually see the fresh, healthy, whole meats and veggies that are gently cooked to preserve the food's nutritional value. And Kenji is absolutely loving it too. To freshen up your dog's food and simplify giving your pooch the best, go check out The Farmer's Dog. Just click the link down in the description below. You are going to get 50% off your first box plus free shipping.
So Clay, how are things going today? It's going great, man. What are we working on exactly? Well, today we're, uh, right now I'm coating the metal corners, but ultimately today we put the first coat of mud on all the tape, screws, and metal corners, and then the first coat will be complete. What tips or tricks do you have for working like a corner like this, or just a tapered seam in general? What's, what's the process? What should that look like? Ultimately, uh, no edges. Yeah. If you can do this without having to sand it later, then you're winning, definitely. And is watering down your mud really important and key to making that happen? It is. On this first coat, you don't want to water it too much because the more you water it, uh, the thinner it gets and the more it's going to shrink back. Sure. So ultimately, you know, I'm working with a mud that's... Peanut butter consistency? A little thicker analogy? than Bisquick pancakes. Okay. But, uh, so the, the second coat, the coat after this though, I'll put on a little bit slicker. And so you're building things up gradually, taking it wider and wider. And then the key, again, just to getting it flat is just the feather, feather the edges. And, right. Okay. So just ultimately no, you know, no edges. All right. So these guys are kicking butt. They're doing such a great job and working. Boy, that string, they're working really quickly. So impressed by the work that they're doing. Our goal for the rest of the day is basically just to stay out of their way. Yeah, that's, that is the goal. So as soon as the drywall is done, we need to get the ceiling up, then the painters will come in, and then we need to get the flooring in. Then we will almost be done with the addition build, which is great. But for today, we have a lot of supplies we need to go get ordered. So we are heading up into the loft. I'm gonna, this is how the news anchors do it. They walk backwards. Uh, we are heading up into the loft in our pole barn, which we call the shop. This is where we keep all of our extra building supplies from the house. We had a lot of, <laughs> okay, I gotta walk forward. We have a lot of extra supplies up here. We've got a microwave, a bunch of airstone, and thankfully a lot of the Shaw luxury vinyl plank flooring that we used in the house. So we're gonna use the same flooring because I think we have maybe half of what we need. So hopefully, hopefully they still sell the exact same flooring because I know that we need more. So we're gonna see how much we have and then we are going to go over to our local building store and pray that they still carry it. All right, so this is the flooring. It looks like we have about 550 square feet. We need 950 square feet. So I think we need about 18 boxes to be safe. Again, hopefully they still have it. If they don't still have it, we'll probably just try to sell this flooring and then we're gonna have to pick out all new flooring, which I don't wanna do, so fingers crossed. Least favorite area to run. We are at the community dump. We are going to dump all of these scraps and then we will continue on with our shopping. But the way that we do garbage here, which we've shared before, is we don't actually have any garbage pickup because we're so rural. Nobody in the, our whole county has any garbage pickup. So you actually have to package up all of your garbage and scraps and drive it to the dump. It is free, which is great, but you do have to do it yourself. Oh, it's fun. I did pass Pro X and there's a reason. You know what, it's been a while. We're here in town. Oh, I think it's time for a pastry run, Mama. <laughs> okay, so we have a bunch of flooring from our house build and we're hoping to just add to it for the addition, but I don't know if you still carry it. So I took a picture. Oh, it's fine. Yep, yeah, it's still available. That's good news, because I have 25 boxes of it, <laughs> so. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right, so good news. They have the flooring, we got it ordered. That will be here in a couple of weeks. They had the, um, the stuff, the, 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 the shiplap, <laughs> that's the word I was looking for. They have the shiplap, we got that ordered. That will be in next week, so we can get started on the ceiling right away. So we are on a roll, ready to go. We're gonna go head back home and see how much the drywallers got done.
Another day in the books here. We now have two coats of mud put up over our drywall, those seams, screws, everything's looking so good. The fellas already left for the day since it was such a quick day for them. But once again, couldn't be happier with the progress that's being made. This place is really coming along. The garage is really starting to look like a garage and that living space upstairs is really starting to look like an apartment. Yeah, so every single coat only takes a couple hours to do and then they can't do anything until that coat dries. So since they have left and it is beautiful and it is sunny, such a nice day. I have a job for you. Fantastic. <laughs> That's a dry dead sunflower, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna plant sunflowers all over. It's all our seed for next year's sunflowers. So even though it's an absolutely beautiful early spring day here, we are not quite to the point yet that we can start planting here in our garden, but when it came to us getting some cleanup done last fall, that never happened. Well, yeah, <laughs> we meant to, and then it started to snow and then it just stopped snowing like yesterday. So now we have a lot of cleanup to do. Gardening season is coming very, very quickly. It is our favorite time of year, but we definitely have a lot of foundational work that we need to get done in here before we can do that. Kids are over here planting like 200 tomato plants. Uh, these are all just little tiny cherry tomatoes that fell off. And then when you open them up, it's just full of like 50 seeds per tomato that are perfectly preserved. Fuzzy little seeds. We're gonna have a lot of volunteers in this bed. Oh, like a tree. Oh. Mill this for lumber. Those of you who have been here on our channel watching on a consistent basis now may remember that a few years ago we installed these garden beds in our garden space and the best part about garden soil is that it has a tendency to improve and get better over time. We always have a plan of attack as far as how we can make things better. This year what we're thinking is we're going to purchase and add a bunch of red wiggler earthworms into each one of these beds. Also while we were in town yesterday we picked up a number of bags of soil and being attacked by a bee, signs of spring. We have a, a bunch of bags that we're going to get dumped into these beds, just new fresh soil to keep things very nutrient dense, soft and loamy. We were hoping for a very bountiful gardening year. And then over the winter this year, we didn't record it because there wasn't all that much to be done, but I pruned all of the trees here in our orchard. They're all surviving, thriving, doing very well. And again, fingers crossed that this year we get a ton of fruit out of this orchard. Now that we got the beds all cleaned up, Jeremy is actually going to attempt to burn off some of the orchard grass. So this orchard grass is a massive pain every year. We have to get the weed whacker out and it's really, really thick. So we're going to try to burn it before it actually starts growing. And then hopefully that doesn't cause it to come back with a vengeance because we've just enriched the soil. But we hear that it can be effective. <laughs> Gee, I sure hope this works. <laughs> It'll work. We can fix it with fire. Uh, yeah, sometimes guys get it in their head like, I know, honey, I know how to fix this. I'm going to get the blowtorch and I'm going to light it on fire. You and, watch. It's going to work just fine. And it's going to look really good. <laughs> right now, all I see is our orchard on fire. This morning, I read a post that asked, if you could go back to one day, any day from your past, what day would it be? Now, naturally you would think I would choose my wedding day or my high school prom or some significant moment. But my mind went directly to sitting in my living room with all four of the kids small while they put on one of those talent shows that they used to perform for us. Now, I probably wouldn't be wearing makeup or a bra and my hair wouldn't be washed, but that was my happy place the one place that I would choose over any other place in the world. But then I look around and I realize that I am still there. The little hands might be a little bigger and the orchard might be on fire, but these are the glory days. The days that when I am asked this question, 30 or 40 years from now, I will choose. Over any other day, I will choose a regular yet extraordinary day like today.